about this bag? That is a heavy bag. What's going on, guys? King Shrats here, back with another video on the channel. And today, we actually got Colombian food. A couple of days ago, we did Salvadorian food, and there's a lot of Latin American restaurants around here that come highly recommended that I have not reviewed yet, and this is another one of them. A little bit of Colombian food. This place is known as Aroma de Café. It's located in Garfield, New Jersey. I believe they have another location, but this was the location they told me to go to. And this bag, I'm gonna have to put down here because this thing is like, that's a heavy bag. I'll just put it that way. But let's take out some of the food and see what we got. Of course, we got the utensils. I love when they remember those. And a giant bag of different sauces. Looks like pink sauce and maybe some chimichurri. I'm not 100% sure. But we will find out as we go. Let's see what's going on. I think this is my dessert. I did get dessert. Yes, this is, of course, one of my favorite. Tres leches cake. Um, if you're unfamiliar with it, just, just wait around a little bit. You'll, you'll, you'll be familiarized with it soon. I think it's an empanada. Yes, it is. So we got an empanada here. I got a beef empanada. Damn. Okay, there's a bag inside of a bag. Good. Oh, my goodness. This is a chicken dish, which I will not butcher just yet, but I will tell you when we get to it. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Potatoes. These are side dishes that come with the uh, chicken dish. This is going to be crazy. There's a lot of food, man. Let me tell you. All right. So we got some rice and looks like, yeah, we got some plantains or platanos over here. So those are the two sides that came with that one. We also got a bandeja paisa which is this is kind of broken up but it's like a typical uh colombian breakfast and i did want to see what that was hitting for bro i didn't think i was gonna get this much food i gotta check my receipt in a minute i think this is the rest of the breakfast god stink it is look there's a whole avocado in here a corn cake we got some steak we got some rice there's a ton of rice in here see i don't know if y'all watched my video where i did the salvadorian restaurant right or no it was a cuban place that i did where i was like it doesn't seem like a lot of food this is a lot of food. Arroz con pollo, rice and chicken. One of the more popular dishes. That's the smallest amount. Oh, there's chicken and rice. Okay. I'm about to say. It's a lot of food, bro. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Look. We got beans. We got beans. I'm going to have to do some rearranging here in a minute, man. And more beans. I'm back here somewhere. And one more spoon. All right, let me get this ready, and we'll get situated and get ready to go, because I'm. A, this going to take some power of editing for real. And there is the power of editing. We also forgot our... Some people said I should make a slogan of this, but we got our, our Sam's Choice Refreshingly Mid Soda. <laughs> I forgot I said that yesterday until I read the comments. But this spread cost me $70. But as you can see, this is enough to feed, like, two families. It's a lot of food. I don't think that some of the videos do justice just how big this, like, amount of food is. But this is a ton of rice and this is arroz con pollo i'm gonna start with the empanada and then move into this because empanadas are an appetizer i got rice on it because i dropped it on there but this is a uh beef empanada and their empanadas colombian empanadas are a little bit different you can kind of tell if you look at my like salvadorian video or some other stuff that the corn is like the outside and not like like a dough so it's a little bit different Not dry at all. Really flavorful. The outside is perfectly crispy. I'm going to be honest with you. I have had some mid versions of this kind of empanada. And this is everything but that. A lot of times I don't like the corn difference. But pink sauce is really just ketchup and mayo. But it comes with a lot of these. This is how you do it. It's simple. And it's just really, really good, man. I'm so glad this is good. I think I'm about to throw down in a second. We might have hit something here. We, Sorry. There we go. That's salsa. And it's spicy. And it's good. I'm going to lie to you. That version of empanada, that's one of the better ones I've ever eaten. A lot of times I don't like those kinds. But that one I do like. That is really good, and I would get an entire 
bushel of those. Bucket, bowl, whatever you want to call it. But that is a 9 out of 10 empanada. Thank you very much. Here we go. Arroz con pollo. I'm moving. I'm going. This, this, that just got the flavor jets going. So it's a chicken and rice dish. A lot of different Latin American countries make this. I have had a ton of different variations. I don't think I've ever had a Colombian variation. Looks like, yeah, so those are platanos in the middle. So the rice is shredded in there. I've seen it with bone-in chicken in as well, or large chunks of chicken, but this looks like it's a shredded version, which I don't care as long as it tastes good. So you got the vegetables, the rice, and the chicken. It's super simple, but when you make this right, I grew up eating stuff like this, so this is right up my alley. Big pieces of chicken are still in there. Oh, that just dropped. I was about to show y'all that. There's also sausage in here as well. You can see it off. It's kind of like... I'm trying so hard not to drop this. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I got so much stuff in this table that I'm trying not to hit stuff, so I'm trying to move my arm around. Let's go. Lots of flavor. Chicken's tender. Not dry, thank goodness. I love food like this. This is something I would make at home. They did it a little better than me, though. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. All right, I'm even gonna go in for this platinum right here. As I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of these, but I'm always gonna try them. This one's a lot sweeter than the ones I'm normally having. Now, they're sweet plantains in the beginning, but that one's like really sweet. I don't know if I necessarily like that contrast of sweetness with, with like the, the arroz con pollo, to be honest. But get yourself a fat plate of this. Mm. I don't know if it goes, but it's going. Couldn't die. Here we go. Here we go. Right there. Mmm. Mmm. That salsa is really good, man. Mmm. Hold on. A little bit of pink sauce. I don't care if it goes. We try everything but everything. Not the pink sauce. Makes it, again, I don't like the sweet with this savory version of particularly this, but I would not be mad if you put this in front of me at any point. I love, excuse me. I love when I try plates from restaurants. This, I mean, this is an ultimate compliment. When it tastes like this could have come out of somebody's kitchen, I'm a fan of it. This just reminds me of somebody's like, yo, look, they, they made some bomb food at home. Somebody's like, yo, you used to a restaurant. And out comes stuff like this. And you get a lot of food. They ain't trying to get you no know, little weak platter serving. My kind of place. Let me get one more of this, like, sausage in here. If you took me to somebody's house and served me that, I'd be happy as hell. For real. Nice and flavorful. Even the sausage, which I believe is the same as this right here. Same kind of spice point I'm getting, but... I would give that an 8 out of 10. It's very, very good. You know one more? I left a little salsa on here, so for research purposes, we gotta, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Uh, stop! Okay, okay. See what I'm saying? I gotta stop myself sometime. But, yes. Emphatically, yes. 8 out of 10. Let's play musical chairs, though. Yeah, right. This stuff's still super hot. I gotta watch. I'm about to burn my hand. Here we go. So this is the flagship. Normally it's spread out on a giant plate, but not mine. So we got the bandeja paisa. It's got a chicharron uh, pork belly, uh, a sausage, fried egg. There's a corn cake under there. There's steak as well as rice and I believe plantains. It's $24, but it's a ton of food that you get with this. And I'm just going to look at this. That's how you do it, man. Look. 
picking this piece, this crispy piece. Oh, yeah, sign me up. Here we go, hold on. Sign me up. I got to figure out how the hell I'm going to eat this. Let's go in. Because it does come with beans. Let's do the rice test first. I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm just, the passion's coming in. Okay. Let me just open this up real quick. Mad beans, bro. Oh, man. So, one of my tests at restaurants, when they serve food like this, is to try the rice by itself. If the rice is mid... You know, you know. That's man. I'm grabbing a piece of steak. Look at this. And you don't not. There's a ton. Look at all the steak in here. And I'm only grabbing half of it. There's more under this egg over here. See if that rips. That does. Oh, that's tender. Oh, that's tender. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. Two for two. Two for two. Let me get this rice and a little bit of this. I'm just going to do it with my hand like this. All right. You want to grab a piece? <laughs> Stop. Give me this egg, man. Oh, my goodness. Into the rice, right? Little piece of steak. I got to go with these beans in a second, but I'm going to tell you this. This is worth every bit of money that you charge for it. Even the eggs cook perfectly. Come here, beans. I just want to try these by themselves. They ain't playing today. No, they're not. They are not playing today. Oh my goodness. Corn cake. Did y'all hear that? Crispy on the outside, still fluffy on the inside with the beans. Bro. You ever have food so good you be laughing? You ain't gonna do that? That's just me? All right. It's just me. Into the egg. I could have did a whole video on just this. If you see this restaurant, and this is how you know, it's not big at all. If you don't know what's there, you might miss it. That's one of the best versions of this, and I have had a few of these in my life. Everything on this plate is absolute gas. The steak is super tender. It's seasoned correctly. The rice is seasoned. I'm just, I'm drooling in my own. Yeah. Everything. The beans. Now that I got it in that rice like this. My good man. You have to take that away from me. You have to take. Y'all can see, I just keep going back to it. I'm going in with the egg. This is one of the best versions of this breakfast I've had. I've had a pretty decent amount. I'm not going to lie to you. 
Sign me up for this energy. I'm taking one more bite. I got to. I go get this all the time. You know what the crazy thing is though, for real? This is a breakfast. If I ate this in the morning, I'm not doing nothing. Like, I'm just going to go lay down. But hey, I got I to get another one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, man. Okay, stop. Again, I've had this from a few different places. This is as good as it gets as far as this goes. Wow. I'm going to be pulling that. I'll give this a 9.5 out of 10. It's unbelievable. For a breakfast to be this damn good, if I lived in the... If I was Colombian, bro, I'd be... I'd be breakfast every damn five minutes. Breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for... And I'd be 602 pounds. Y'all see how many times I tried to reach back for it? I'm done. All right, I'm moving on. This right here is something that I have never heard of or tried. This was a complete, like, let me just see what's what. Let me give you the name and tell you what it is. So this right here, see if I can get this up in your face, is called Pechuga Salsa de Champiñones. All right, so it's grilled chicken with like a, like a creamy mushroom sauce, more or less. And I got two sides. I got the white rice and I got the... These are potatoes, but they're like Creole potatoes is what they call them. I've never heard of this. I, I just wanted to see and, and, and kind of do something different. But it, it I wish y'all had smell of vision, man. I know I say that all the time, but sometimes, let me see. There's big pieces of a butterfly chicken breast right here. And I'm just going to get like a... This almost seems like something you would serve with pasta in another country, but I don't really care. All right, so I'm just going to grab this just like this. Get that piece right there with the sauce on it. It definitely is a creamy mushroom sauce. It puts you in the mind of Alfredo. It's probably very close to Alfredo, but there's differences a little bit. And if you don't like mushrooms, I wouldn't eat it because I do get a mushroom flavor all through it. But again, it says creamy mushroom sauce. If you order it and you don't like mushrooms, you're in trouble. I happen to actually like mushrooms. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go whoop and then see what's what right here. Let me get a little bit in this sauce right here. I can cut this chicken with a spoon. So I'm just telling you, it ain't, I know people love to, it's dry because y'all expect y'all food to just be soaking in water and stuff like that. But I don't know what y'all think. It almost tastes like if anybody's ever had a risotto, like a mushroom risotto, like that strong creamy flavor with it. But again, the chicken is super moist. Some people hate that word, so I apologize. Let me get a couple of these potatoes, too. Here, let me get a little more rice. Bro, this is some good eats, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like, all of it. Like, I just, you can tell. Like, I, I know when you know you know. Let me get. Hold on, now. Let me, let me do one by itself. Let me do one by itself. Potatoes are potatoing, but it needs something. Thank goodness it comes on a, on a sock, man. <sighs> Bruh. My feet going out. Yep. Yep. This is one of the things that I preach by as a, as a food creator, I guess you could call me. I love my franchise restaurants, of course. I like expensive places, of course. But when you get these mom and pops, this is what it's about. Because this is all fire, bro. All fire. Again, big piece of chicken. There's about three or four in here. I don't want to pick this last. There's more in here, but... Man, I'm sorry. A little ASMR. But... I need to see something. I ain't got no business being that good. I ain't got no business being that good. I ain't got no business being that yeah. All it is. 
All of this. The sauce is good, but it's even more impressive how good the proteins are in it. Sometimes people throw chicken in dishes like this and it just dry and it gets carried by the sauce. If you just gave me that chicken, I would eat it just like that. And that's rare for me to say that about that cut of chicken. I'm a thigh guy. I ain't a breast guy. But if you gave me some breasts like that, I'm here for it. Nine out of ten. One of my favorite things. Got the tres leches. If you have it and you serve Spanish food of some sort, I'm here for it. All right. Got my fork because I already used my actual fork. And I'm just going to go in. All right. So you'd use three different kinds. Normally it's soaked on the bottom, but I do see there's a different, like a decent amount. I'm trying not to drop this, but decent amount. But sometimes it's like literally so. Okay, well. So you make a cake, use condensed milk, evaporated milk, and milk, and then you pour it over the cake and let it soak in, and then you add some icing, and out comes the best leches. That frosting is like super light. Who made this cake, bro? Y'all know somebody. Ain't no way y'all making this cake in the back? The cake itself is always super spongy and good, right? And then you get that 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 milk blend that gets in and soaks it up. Look, I got it. excuse me. But what really, really makes this is this frosting is almost whipped, like it's super light and airy, and it just it goes perfect with this. Mm hmm. I always say this, if you put, uh, this is why I can't, I, if you put a giant Tres Leches cake in front of me, I'd eat the whole thing. That's fire, man. Bravo. I've had a lot of Tres Leches cake. You say you had a lot of everything. I literally eat food for a living. I have had a lot of everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a thousand videos on this channel, and I was old before I started making YouTube videos. Yes, I have. That is delicious. 9.4 out of 10. I would eat that any day of the week. Some of the best I've eaten again. Frosting, though. The frosting is like a 9-8. Anywho. This restaurant came highly recommended by people I know that are actually Colombian. Yup. That's all I'm going to say about this. It's very small, right? It's, it's in a neighborhood kind of area. And again, if you didn't know where it was, you probably missed it. I'm going to say the name again. It is called Aroma de Cafe. It's in Garfield, New Jersey. And this place is everything that people told me it was. And then some. If you want, like... Fire Colombian food, bro. I'm gonna just start picking it. Shit in a second. Let me see. I'm gonna pull right in this. I would recommend that you check it out. That's good. The prices are pretty good too. I feel like I got my money's worth, and I feel like I got food from people who cook. Not a damn chef. That's trying to. They just want to make this delicious and give you a lot of food and make sure you eat good. That's my kind of spot. I'm sorry. So I'm here for it. For those who celebrated Labor Day by the time you see this yesterday, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to cry giving this away. I got to do it. Got to keep the, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm sorry, bro. That's going to be the end of the video. And we will be back tomorrow. More content, man. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.